Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video is going to be about the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Though it is applicable on all the Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 7 processors, whether it's the Ryzen 7 7900X 3D or the 79, uh, 7950X 3D. So I have been using this uh, Ryzen 7 7800X 3D for almost a year now and I uh, experienced this issue a couple of months ago so what happens is I am using the Ryzen 7 7800 X3D it's working perfectly fine but all of a sudden on a fine morning I you know I start my games I set up my overlay the MSI afterburner overlay and what I notice is the clocks are really weird so what happens is I have also turned on the precision boost overdrive with a negative curve offset on the curve optimizer say minus 30 or minus 40 I tried all of them so I've set a minus 30 curve uh, offset which uh, you know which is usually normally which works just fine and you know my temps are fine and my clocks are uh, on normal days my clocks are close to you know 5 uh, 5 gigahertz 5000 megahertz they you know they fluctuate between say 4800 megahertz to 5050 megahertz the mostly stay at 5000 megahertz now on this particular day i noticed that my clocks are really bad they are dropping below the base clock speeds base clock that is 4.2 gigahertz for the ryzen 7 7800 x3d so these clocks they drop even below the base clocks now i'm not able to understand why is that happening so I look let me show you let me show you the actual clocks so these are the screenshots that I've taken so this right here is from the ghost of Tsushima see the usage is 15% and temperature is also fine so ideally it should be you know it should be somewhere around 5000 gig uh, 5000 megahertz I'll show you the another screenshot see 3200 megahertz 3217 megahertz i mean that's not even close to the base frequency of 4.2 gigahertz the, another one 3233 megahertz now another one 3200 megahertz it gets it, it gets just bad and it's not like it just drops to a frequency lower than the base clock it stays there for considerable time it stays there and it won't you know just rarely it would jump to 5 gigahertz or say 4.9 gigahertz but usually it would stay below the base clock see and this is this is while playing the game i'm not sure what game is this but you can see it's 22 with 22 percent usage it is at 3880 megahertz and let me show you another screenshot This is for this is the cyberpunk guys and you can see the usage is pretty bad the megahertz I mean okay so these are all the screenshots that I've taken and you can also check out videos on my channel because I post I guess two videos with the issue now so when it came to troubleshooting I tried everything literally everything I reinstalled my windows multiple times I even you know i even uh, downgraded my bios like roll back my bios to the very you know initial versions like i'm using an x670 or a elite right now so i went back to the even the very first bios nothing seemed to work and i was wondering if it was a problem with my hardware with my cpu or my motherboard and i was really i was kind of hopeless i even went ahead and you know i talked to amd uh, with their support team and uh, they suggested me a couple of troubleshooting steps that's all I did you know that's what I did so I ran a, a lot of troubleshooting steps I uh, I even installed Windows 10 Pro like right now I'm using Windows 11 Pro I installed Windows 10 Pro but nothing seemed to work now when I had finally a uh, year yeah, just to tell you I also claimed i ended up claiming the warranty and i ended up sending my chip for an rma and got a new chip 
and the problem still existed now when i had given up all hope on a fine morning what i did is i i was on windows 10 pro because i had you know went back to windows 10 so i thought okay just let's let me just use the chip and maybe in future i'll i'll make some upgrades so i went ahead and i reinstalled windows 11 a fresh os installation and this time i thought let's wait let's not install any drivers or anything let's just simply install the game and the msi afterburner and check how the clocks are okay so i installed the msi afterburner i inst- installed my games and i'm playing my games i ran cyberpunk 2077 i ran far cry 5 far cry 6 i ran call of duty and the clocks were just brilliant now i decided let me you know uh uh one by one let me install the drivers i'm installing drivers and everything everything seems fine now here comes the moment the critical moment so what happens is you know when you buy a gigabyte motherboard what i'm assuming is since i have i have an oris elite ax so what i'm assuming is when you buy a gigabyte motherboard it happens in most of the cases you get this you know a uh, gigabyte control center like the moment you install your windows and the moment your system boot, boots up for the very first time you get prompted to install gigabyte control center and trust me guys that is one hell of an issue so i installed the uh, gigabyte control center and in there gigabyte control center is the least of your worries in there basically it's it's a utility app there are all the driver updates and everything in there was this culprit and the culprit is the norton antivirus norton 364 gamers and i was skeptical about it in the very beginning but i thought okay you know antivirus it's important so i installed uh, so the moment when i was you know running this last troubleshoot i installed all the drivers all the clocks were fine but the moment i installed this uh norton 364 gamers which i was prompted to do by the gigabyte control center now pay attention guys i mean who would really think i mean i wouldn't have thought that gigabyte would suggest me an application that would mess up my cpu clocks so i the moment i installed the norton 364 gamers i refresh i restarted my system i went back to the games and the clocks were messed up it's the same problem again now this was the moment i realized who was the real culprit so yeah this was norton 364 gamers and i bet it's just any antivirus or any application that you know that uh claims to boost your games and claims to basically f- claims to be labeled like which is labeled gamers and something like that so i went ahead and uninstalled the uh the norton 364 gamers and restarted my system and the problem was just fine so yeah this was it guys this was it so i would recommend all of you guys trust the windows defender that's the best antivirus you don't really need i mean if you're an average gamer like me you don't really need an antivirus because windows defender it just works really fine on itself and you get you're getting regular updates on the windows or uh, defender so you don't really need an antivirus or an application whether it's norton or any other brand so that's that's it for the video guys and the clocks have been just fine you can check out my latest videos clocks are just fabulous so i hope this works out for you guys and yeah so let's just you know uh, recall everything okay so what you're going to do is you have will have to run the troubleshoot troubleshooting steps but before you run the troubleshooting steps before you go into all that you know all that loads of work i would simply recommend uninstalling your if you have an antivirus and if you are a gigabyte user if you have an antivirus whether it's not an or any other antivirus just go ahead and uninstall it restart your system and see if the clocks are better and trust me guys i i think the clocks will be better so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, see you in the next one cheers